Using active learning strategies is a proven method to increase engagement and learning in your classroom. There are numerous great strategies available, but today we want to focus on one that's not only active, but also student-centered. This activity is called Jigsaw, just like the type of puzzle. In this case, though, your puzzle pieces will be bits of information about your lesson. We're going to use vocabulary for the purposes of this demonstration. However, general content topics, primary sources, pieces of a story, and more can be used for Jigsaw. Begin by printing one copy of your vocabulary list with definitions. Then cut the list up so there's only one or two words per piece of paper. Then print off the vocabulary list without definitions. You'll need one for each student in your class. Have your students get into their assigned groups and provide each group with one or two of the words with definitions. All of the students will receive a copy of the full list without definitions. Allow the groups to discuss their vocabulary word with each other and write the definition down on their sheet with all of the other vocabulary words. Which word did we get? Bacteria. It says single cell microorganisms that are found in diverse environments. They can be malicious, helpful, or harmless. That's interesting. I thought bacteria was always bad and made you sick. Yeah, gross. Actually, I heard that bacteria in your stomach helps digest food. Neat! After you've given your students time to go over the definition and write it down, it's time for them to get moving and teach each other. Half of each group will stay at the table while the other half will begin to rotate to other groups. One of the easiest ways to do this is to display a rotation chart at the front of the room for reference. Once students have arrived, have each group teach each other their definitions. Hey, which word did your group have? We had ecology. It's a part of biology that deals with the locations of organisms and how they interact with each other and the environment. Oh, I see how that relates to our word, bacteria. Once each group has shared their information and recorded it on their individual sheets, it's time to resume rotating. You'll continue this process until each group arrives back to their starting tables. Now each student has every definition for each vocabulary word. Be sure to call on a few students to share what they've learned. And you should also consider temporarily collecting the sheets to double check for accuracy and completion. Jigsaw is a great active learning strategy that gets students moving and teaching one another. Try it out the next time you've got big blocks of information to cover. It'll save your voice and increase your student engagement.